everybody and welcome back to another episode of how to build a village this is mythical sausage how is everybody doing man i'm doing great today hopefully you guys are doing amazing today we're going to continue with our village so far we've done some cool stuff let me flip let me show you right here Bah, oh, double flip, there we go. <laughs> so we've done our walls, we've done our gatehouse, we've done the blacksmith, the starter house, and the crop fields right here. And it's looking very, very cool. Today, we're gonna be jumping right here to this little corner. We're gonna be working on some animal pens. This is gonna be so much fun. We have a whole checklist of things we have left to do. So let me know what you guys wanna see next. Right now, we have left to do the bakery cafe the church the library the keep with the barracks stables and a tavern inn we're gonna try to fit all this in this space let me know what you want to see next but you know what let's get this started let's start building our animal pens all right let's check this out so this is the dimensions we're going to be working with this pen is specifically going to be only for cows sheep and we're going to put a little back corner over here this is going to be for a chicken so a tiny little chicken coop but mostly just for those animals pigs don't belong here maybe we could do a little pig pen over here maybe i don't know let me know if you want to put a little pig pen right there but for now we're gonna go right here cows sheep chickens let's do it so everywhere you see a log we're gonna do a pop-out log everywhere you see the um the cobble we're gonna put some stone around there so let's get it started so i'm gonna go right from this corner we're gonna count it all out so right here on this block this is technically doesn't even count as a one because we're a little lower and we want to put everything up at least minimum by four so let's start right here this corner pretend this doesn't count so one two three and four let's go here with the cobble we're gonna go one two and three one more here with a log one two three and four give it a space of three then we're gonna go one two three and four one two three of cobble one two three and four right here we're gonna turn this corner and we're gonna go one two three take this one one two three four another one two three right here we're gonna go one two three and four and we're turning the corner again this is gonna be a little alleyway back here to get to this back end it's gonna be pretty cool and then we're gonna go one two three mirror exactly what we did over there so one two three four Give it a space three, one, two, three, four, space of oh, one, two, three. This is gonna go right up against this wall, so one, two, three, and four, and then we're gonna do another one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, and another one, two, and three. That's it, that's the outline for this thing. Now, let's turn this corner right here, right at this edge right there. We're gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna get to this corner, and we're gonna go up again. One, two, three, and four. Give it a one right there. Leave a space of three, another one, and then one, two, three, and four, and then again, another one, two, three. So we're gonna co cover that all up. Now, over here, we're gonna recess this in by one, and we're gonna go an extra one and two right there, an extra one and two right here, so giving it a gap of three in the middle. Now, on this corner, another one, two. Over here, another one and two, three gapper in the middle, three gapper in the middle. That's looking awesome. Just like that, leave that bad boy. Now, we're gonna have this uh, like an open field, so don't even worry about this part. Uh, I just wanted to give you that guy, a little separation right there, but this, we're gonna texture all this. We're gonna give it a nice little bit of a path block going all the way down, just like that. Let's just leave it right here. We can do a little path together. Uh, but mostly going to leave this for grass because this is going to be our section for a sheep or it could be either side But I'm not going to put too much stuff inside there. There there we go. That's a pretty nice little path We can go and maybe add a little bit more uh, coarse dirt back here, uh, but not too much just like uh, something like so That looks pretty good. Yeah, let's just leave that there we go perfect nice Okay, so let's work on the next little bit of detail so for the uh, middle gaps right here in the center pits right there, little center bits right there, uh, we're gonna be doing something cool. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a little bit of texture. So we're gonna do a mix. We're gonna do a mix of cobble, we're gonna do a mix of smooth stone or regular stone, and then we're gonna do a little bit of a mix of more cobble, a little bit of mossy. So for now, this is what I'm gonna do to make it easy. We're just gonna do everything out of cobble. So let's just take it up all the way up to the top fourth one right there. We're just gonna do it all of cobble, everything. But you know what? We're gonna texture it as we go along and it's gonna look cool. So let's just, this one we're gonna leave it right to the, in the middle. We're gonna leave those for now. We're gonna take this all the way up and we're gonna pop in some windows. It's gonna come out, uh, but for now, let's just do it all like this. Oh, that's all wrong. There we go. <laughs> and then we're gonna texture it after, uh, just like I like doing. You don't have to texture though. You can keep it all cobble or all stone. Everything will be just fine, don't worry. But I think a little bit of texture will make it look cool. So let's go like this. We're gonna take this one down as well, all the way to the top, all the way to the fourth, and there we go. So now, let's do a little bit of texture real fast. All 
All right, there you go. We got that texture laid out. It's looking really, really cool. Now, next step. This is what I want to do. Uh, I want to go ahead and work on a roof pattern first. And this is why. I want to show you why. Check this out. We're going to do this a little bit differently, okay? So I'm going to do something similar to this edge right here in the center bit but i want to do a different kind of roof on the side bit so i want to go down like this let's just change it up let's go right from here let's do a stair there let's do a slab slab let's do a stair okay watch this and then let's do one more stair right there upside down overhang okay now let's do it here too so let's do a stair let's do a slab let's do a stair slab stair actually let's change these up let's do two two stairs and two slabs and a, okay and a stair there perfect i just want to make it very rustic and run down so that is looking pretty good then watch this i want to come up on this just like so we're going to do overhang right there upside down stair i'm going to do slabs and i'm going to start doing this for now we're going to break it up later but just slabs going up like this just like that until we meet up right here in the middle just like that we're going to come back down and go like this we're going to go here and one slab at a time going all, all, all the way down till we get to about here. On this one, I'm gonna put a little stair like that, okay? This is cool. Now, let's just do slabs, okay? All the way down like this and stopping right there, stopping at this line. Now, let's just keep it going. We're gonna do a double on this side. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna beat it up. We're gonna do what we did over here, but for now, let's make it clean. Just in case if you guys want it clean like this, straight lines, no brokenness, no rustic look, uh, no ruin like. Uh, you're gonna get, you have it clean at first. You can see what it looks like, and then we'll break it up after. So it's your choice if you wanna make it broken up or if you wanna have it really, really cool and different like that. <laughs> so for this one right here at the edge, let's go. I'm gonna put like a little stair. Let's put a slab and let's put another stair like that. And that's just to break it up. It's gonna look a little different from here, but it's just to make it look uh, random. So we have that roof right here on this side. Okay, now let's do it again over here. And we'll do it also on this one, but let's do this one first. So upside down stair here. And then we're gonna go up a slab at a time like this till we get to the middle, which is right there. Then we're gonna come back down just like so right here, right there. I'm gonna do a double. Let's do a stair right here, which is going to be, well, let's take that down. Let's put a little upside down stair on this side and let's put a stair on this side. Then down here, let's see, let's put, uh, you know what? Let's put this one facing up. Let's do two slabs. Let's do a slab. Let's do a stair just like that. And it is looking pretty good. Let's see. Okay. And it's looking good on that side. I think, yep. It's looking pretty good. Now let's go down again. So we're going to take this down and stop right here at that log so we're gonna keep going down we're gonna do doubles all the way down doubles all the way down and some of these we might have to replace here on the bottom just so we can go ahead and fill those gaps uh that we're looking at those little air gaps but we're gonna come down all the way down like so okay now once we're here we're gonna go down to that end perfect all right this is looking awesome now let's do this on the inside let's connect these little bits so i might take that out just to lift that up Let's take this up right there. It's perfect. Let's take the log up to the top. Now, this one, I'm going to go ahead and just draw, take that out and put it in. There we go. Uh, let's put these two as smooth stone. That looks perfect. There we go. Now, let's do it again on this side. So, let's get rid of you. Go all the way down. This one should be fine. This one can take out. This one can go in here. And that one can take out and go in there. And that covers it all up. That's looking pretty good. So, for now, let's cross beam. I'm going to put a little cross beam going this way from here to here. Let's do a little cross beam going from here to here. Let's do a little cross beam here. And let's do a little cross beam right over on this side, just like so. Now, I'm going to lift this up now. We're going to go up one, two, three, four again. One, two, three, four again. We're going to go one, two, three, four here and one, two, three, four, right there. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of a tutor style. We're gonna go every other one, like so. Every other one, like so. Just like that, that's cool. Then, watch this. We're gonna go in the middle. We're gonna put some uh, detail. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna bring in a little bit of the oak this time. I'm gonna bring in regular oak, and we're gonna bring in a little bit of the strip. Then we're gonna do a little bit of Tudor stuff, just to break up this style and have almost like another variant of a building with some style of Tudor like this. So I'm just gonna go up one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go up three on all of these, and then I'm gonna come back and add a little bit of texture of our strip. So one, two, three on all of these, and then over here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. We're gonna put this down here, okay? We're gonna go another one, two, three up, and one up there, 
just like so. That is looking awesome. Actually, let's take away one more. Put a big old window right there. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. One here, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna put a gap of one, two, three. Put another one here and one there. And that'll be where we do our little roofing on the top. Now here, I'm gonna do cross beams all the way down here, cross beams all the way down this way. Now, that little bit of texture, I promise, we're gonna go ahead and come in here with some of the stripped oak and pop in some, replace some of these that we just put down, just like that. I think that's perfect. Uh, maybe some here, you probably won't be able to see this from the outside, so you'll be able to see it from the inside though. Uh, so something like so, maybe there. And it's all personal preference. You don't have to put this, but you can also go crazy with it. Uh, and it doesn't have to be exactly where I'm putting it. You just put it wherever you like. So something oop, like that. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Oh, that's nice. I like this. I like this a lot. Now, next up. Now, what I want to do is, come with me. I want to modify just a tad because I want to make the chicken coop just look a little bit smaller than the regular roof. What if we take this down one? Okay, is that cool? Let's do it. So you can leave it the same height, but let's take it down just one. Just one. Just like that. Trust me. Watch this now. Uh, let's go with our stairs again. And we're going to go, let's do stair. Let's do a stair here. Let's go with a slab stair slab now let's go on this side so i'm gonna do slab let's do a stair here let's do slab slab and a stair on this side and that goes like that let's put a little upside down stair facing this direction one this way and we're gonna make the same roof but smaller look at this how cool watch this let's go all the way up and we should meet up right there there we go and we should meet up oop, right there and then when we take it back watch this it's gonna connect, but one level lower. So it just looks a little bit cooler, stands out more, and it just, oh, I just love that. That's good, looking pretty cool. Now, we're gonna break this roof off in a little bit, but for now, let me show you how it looks like clean. So take this all the way down, and this is gonna connect to right about here. And then connect that, and we're done with that little bit, and that is looking so cool. I like how it was all broken up. Even before we broke it up here, just putting these upside down stairs and slabs on the bottom breaks it up even more. So you technically don't need to break it up on top if you don't want to, uh, but it would add a little more detail. But look at that, isn't that cool? I like what's happening. Okay, now next up, let's come over here. Uh, I'm gonna come in here, and we're gonna just do a little bit of a detail here. Ooh, I'm gonna have to, hold on, let's do that. Yeah, there we go. Let's take that down right there. Let's actually do a little bit of texture. So we have that look to it. Let's grab a stair right here. We can mix some cobble stairs and then we can also mix some stone stairs. That's fine. Put a stone here. Let's put a cobble there. And this will be our little chicken coop area. So just leave that there for now. We have that. We have this little entrance here. We have this little side. And we're gonna be adding windows and stuff as we go along. But let's finish this roof up here now. Uh, and then this one. We're gonna make it a little more peaked, a little bit bigger than this one, but only out of these, um, out of spruce. So we're gonna go all the way down like this. We're gonna come this way. We're gonna do an upside down stair, regular stair, upside down, regular. We're gonna put an upside down stair here, come back down, and we're gonna do a simple little roof on this one, ending up right there. Now, taking it all the way down, like so. And I like it that this uh, building has two different roof styles. We have the little arched roof down there with slabs, and we have the traditional roof on the top, just to break it up so it's not all one specific type of roof. I like that. Uh, so let's do two and two. Uh, like that, it's looking pretty good. And then they just fill it in, just fill it in from one side to the other. And again, we're gonna break it up, but I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look like clean, like this, but I'm gonna break up this roof. It's gonna look really, really cool when it's all broken up. Uh, but you don't have to, it's fine. If you do it on yours, uh, so there you go. Now we're gonna go with some slabs right here and let's just take it down normally. And that looks just like so. Look how cool. That is looking awesome. I'm loving this. Now, let's do a little breakup job. So this is what it looks like like this, but let's break it up now so I'll show you how to do this. So I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna add details. So what if we do, let's start right here. Let's go with a full block. Let's go with two full right here. Let's go with a, there we go, a little full block right there. Let's go with one here, two right there, maybe one here. That looks awesome. Maybe one on this corner. Let's do a two like that. Oh, I like that. There we go. Okay, let's do it again on this side. So I'm gonna go maybe one here, one there. Let's do two. Let's do a one. And maybe one on this corner, maybe one down here. Oh, yes. There we go. That is looking awesome. Let's do it again on this side. So this is all random. So let's go here, here. It's a two, one. Let's go one here two here 
And let's go do maybe two like that. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let's go. So let's go. How about one here? Let's do two there, one there, one here, there. Let's see. How about that? Yeah. Let's see. Maybe one here and one on that corner. That is, I love that. That's perfect. Uh, on this one, let's do maybe one on the inside. Let's do two. Maybe two here, one here. And this is all just eyeballing it. See what looks good. See if it does look good, keep it. If it doesn't look good, take it out. So I think that is looking good so far. I like that. Uh, let's do maybe two here, one. Let's do one and one. I'm gonna leave that little gap in the middle there. Oh, that's it. I love that. Look how broken and beat up that looks. That's awesome. Now, I'm gonna come in here and do it on this side. Uh, so here we're doing four blocks. So maybe a double four, maybe one here, maybe another double four, ooh, double four right there. Come up top, let's do a double here. Let's do one here. Let's do two on this side. Oops. Oh, that looks too symmetrical. See, I'm gonna break that up. There we go. And I think that's good. I think that's good. I'm leaving that. There we go. Put one here, let's put like a two there, a one there, and a one on that side, and maybe one, two here. Mm, yeah, I like that. Let's go ahead and work this side out. Uh, let's see, maybe two here, one. Let's go with two. Let's go with a one here. Let's go with one there. I'm gonna do a two here, and maybe a one right there, and another one, two on this side. I like this, I like this. A lot, maybe one more right there. All right, I think that's good. I don't have to mess with that too, but that is that's done. That's great. Okay, next up, let's pop windows. Um, so I'm gonna put, let's see, let's put a double window here. Let's put a double there. Let's put a double here and a double right there. Uh, and then I'm gonna put fence, oh, uh, well, gate. Let's put, uh, no, not fence gate. Let's put regular fences. Let's do oak fences on this one. So I'm gonna do oak fence here. Oak fence there. Let's add some trap doors. Also, we can add trap doors to the top. So let's do a trap door here. Let's do a trap door shutter here. That's looking good. We can also come up top and give it a little bit of trap door on certain spots. I think that'll look pretty good. Oh no, we can't put one there. Uh, there, and that just adds to the broken look to it. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's see, maybe a couple ooh, right there. Maybe one, ooh, we can't put one there. Let's put two here. Yeah, yeah. hold on. Yep, that looks better. <laughs> Let's see on this side. Nope, can't put one there. Two there is fine. One here is good. We can put a couple there. Maybe one on the bottom. A couple on that side. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, no, we can't fit that there. Maybe one here. No, just that's good. Maybe a couple. Oh, that looks awesome. Maybe a few more. Right there. Yep, that looks good. Maybe ooh, we can't put one there. What did I just break? All right, there we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe a couple right there would look good. Can we fit one there? Yes. Oh, that looks good. Can we put any up top here? If we do, ooh, let's see. Maybe on these. There we go. Not too many, just every so often. Put one on a full block. Right there. Yeah, that's looking good. I'm not gonna put any on the very, very top. And then here we could do another bit right there like that and cover that up. Ooh, let's change that up. Let's do, let's do spruce on the top part just so it doesn't uh, just blend in too much with that. I think that looks really, really good. Uh, here we can do a little flower box. Uh, let's do a big box right there. Ooh, if we do that, ooh, let's do this. Let's take that little piece off. Let's do some stairs because I wanna put flowers. And if I have this trap door there, we're not gonna be able to put those flowers and I don't wanna put the flower box down here. So let's do that. Let's do that, lift it up one. Let's go ahead and do this and this. And then maybe here put a little stair. Oh no, let's put a stair here, here and then a slab underneath. Yes, and then we could just put some random flowers on the top. That's awesome, that's looking so good. So we have that going and then let's continue with this down here. We're gonna drop those. Let's put the shutter on that side. Let's put another shutter on this side. Cover that up, let's go to the back and we'll work on this middle part in a second. And then we can go with another little trap door right here and right there. And that's looking good. Okay, now, next up, let's go inside. So in here, we can do so many things, uh, but for now, what I really wanna do is let's lift, let's do some things. I'm gonna lift this up here, let's lift it up again, up to there, okay? Let's do another little bit of texture as we go along, boom. Let's do another one here. Uh, where's my smooth stone, there we go. I keep calling it smooth stone, please forgive me. Uh, and then we're going like that and like that. Now, let's grab our stair. I'm gonna put a stair here and here. Let's put a stair here and there. On the top, we're gonna grab a trapdoor. We're just gonna put that here and there. Let's grab some gates. 
and I'm gonna put a gate right here of our spruce kind. And boom, 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 there we go. That's how we get to that side. This is how we get to that side. So that is this little section. Uh, over here, I'm gonna put like a little storage loft area. Uh, and this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna come in with some of these beams. We're gonna put a beam here. We're gonna put a beam here. We're also gonna put a beam right there. Up here, we're gonna mix in some trap doors. So let's put a couple random trap doors, maybe one like this. Let's throw some on the side. Let's go like this and maybe one more here. Let's grab some slabs and I'm gonna be putting slabs now on the random places that we didn't have the trap door just to make it look a little more rustic. And some of these can actually be functional because then we we'll put either a ladder on any one of these sides. Uh, I'm thinking let's put a ladder right here. Let's go right there and we're gonna put a ladder. Uh, you don't have to put it on every side. If you wanna be symmetrical with it, you can go everywhere with a ladder. Maybe one here and then mix it up. Let's put another one right here. So let's break that little piece and put a little ladder. So that's how we get up one on each side, different areas. Oh, or you can match, you can put ladders on both sides everywhere. But that's all up to you guys. But I think one side will be fine. And then we can have a way up and down from these corners. Now up here, let's break this up. I'm gonna go with stair. Let's go double stair. Let's go stair like that. Let's do double stair. Let's do a stair here and there. Let's go with a slab on one here, slab there. Let's do some slabs here, a couple there, and let's leave the rest. Now let's put trap door. Let's put a trap door there, trap, trap. Let's put a trap door facing this way, one that way, trap door here, there. And we're just breaking it up. We're just making it look real messy. Let's put another, actually I want another trap door kind of down. There we go, I like that. I like that, maybe another one right there. Let's twist maybe that. There we go, and that looks really, really cool. It looks all broken, beat up, I love that. So, that's looking good. Now up here we can put a bunch of random storage, and uh, hold on, I'll do that really quick to see what I can put up here. What can we fit up here? I don't know, let's check it out. There you go, this is what we can do up here. This is just random junk, but it looks cool, and it looks like it has a purpose. So, uh, over here we have some scaffold, we have some composters with a little bit of compost inside. Uh, we have hay, we have a little bit of yellow carpet, which looks like it's representing that hay. A little bit on the floor, a couple more barrels over here, with uh, some some wheat, some lanterns hanging, and up here is looking so good. Look at that, isn't that awesome? <laughs> Just a little bit of detail to add to your little loft area. But you know what, let's finish this build. Let's do some more stuff downstairs. All right, now that we're almost done with this build, let's do some detail work here on the outside. And to do it, I wanna go ahead and give a little bit of detail to the edges here. So what if we add a little bit of mossy, okay? So a little bit of mossy down here, down below. Also, I wanna add almost like a little bit of rocks kind of pushed up against this just to give it a little more support. So this is what I have in mind. Let's just use cobble for now. We can mix a little bit of regular smooth stone and a little bit of mossy down here. So let's just do something like this, something like that kind of. And even let's grab some walls as well. And then we can add maybe a little bit of uh, almost like a little rock formation here, kind of pushed up against this just to add that little bit of extra detail. I love doing this sometimes, it's pretty cool. So let's do maybe another one over here. Something like so, ooh, we broke that, there we go. Maybe a little bit of wall action, okay. Maybe a little bit more kind of pushed up against here. Get out of here, grass. Something like that, there we go. And then maybe switch some of these up for stairs. There we go, that looks really, really good. Maybe another little stair action right there. And that's looking awesome. Let's do a little bit on this side as well. Not, not too much, maybe just a little bit like so. And I love doing this, it's just a little bit of detail. Oh, not yet, not yet, Bush, something like that. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, over here on this side, I don't wanna put any here because I wanna have still that little uh, way in from the side there, which looks cool. And we're definitely gonna do a little bit of terraforming here, push this back a little bit, have a little more clearance there. Uh, and then maybe it's a little bit right about here. That looks so good. Maybe even popped out a little more outside like that. Oh yeah, 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 there we go. That's okay, cool. Uh, okay, now over here, let's add a little bit of bush. So I have two different bushes. I have spruce and I have oak. So let's do a little bit of, let's do spruce in the back corner. Uh, maybe kind of like this, like you see those rocks there, but the bush is kind of pushed up against it. Uh, let's mix and match here maybe. Uh, let's do, how about something like that? There we go. And then we add a little bit of berry bush right here. That's gonna just pop even more. Uh, over here, let's add, uh, you know what? Let's add another little bit. I had this bush already here. So what if we take this little bit out and let's push it up more like so. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's take that down maybe, add a little bit of mossy and maybe add like a little bit of a step up kind of, like if you're here, you can still go up through that. 
Uh, let's do like a little something like that, even though it's, yeah, it's no big deal, uh, but it looks pretty cool. Maybe a couple little more berry bushes on that side. And maybe here we can add a little moss. That looks good. Maybe a little more moss. That looks too much. <laughs> there we go. That's fine. Uh, also, little things you could do is add buttons, add little stone buttons, and then maybe add, let's do maybe one here and maybe one kind of hidden on the side here. Stone buttons are so cool. Don't add too much though. Uh, there we go. Something like that. And then that, let that grow up a little bit. Uh, we can add also a little bit of bone meal here, a little bit of tall grass, regular grass and ferns. That'll look pretty cool. Uh, over here, let's add a little more. How about we go one here, here, and maybe one off to the side, a little bit more berry bush kind of moved out to the side there. Oh, I like that. And then maybe a little bit more, something like this on this end and a little bit more berries. But you know what, let me put a little bit of horse dirt as well, because you don't want it to be all grass down here. Just make it look a little bit cooler. Uh, something like this. And then down here, chickens don't need all grass. So let's come in here uh, and pepper this in. Also, get some of this path kind of rolling out this way. And this is kind of showing people coming in over to the chicken coop side. So give it a little bit of path work. And I'll terraform a little bit more off candy cam, and we can do all this off cam, but just do a little bit on. Just so you guys to see how what my thought process is when I'm doing a little bit of terraforming, making paths and going around like so. So something like that. That looks good. Over here, we're gonna make it really simple. Just grab a gate, and we're gonna leave all this open. So we're gonna go gate, 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 and that'll be perfectly fine. On the top here, we can grab a little bit of trap door. Just a little trap door right here. That's it, just to add a little bit of detail. And then on the inside here, oh, we broke that. That's fine. Uh, so something like this. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the chickens here in a second. So that's looking really, really cool. And I think, we're pretty much done, but let me do a little tiny bit off cam again. Just adding a little bit more life, a little bit more atmosphere, put the animals in here, and we should be done with our animal pen. This is cool, what do you guys think? All right, we're all finished. Let me flip, let me show you, and boop, there it is, looking really, really cool. Also, right here, let me show you how I did this little bit. So I added a little bit of detail here. I got rid of the trap door that was here so I could put a little lamp there, and I think it's, it looks pretty cool, but check this out, you see that? We got little nests. So let me show you really quick if you guys don't know how to do this. Super, super simple. All you gotta do, put an item frame, put an egg inside the item frame. You can twist it however you want. Grab a dead coral fan of any variety and that looks like a little nest to close that up. And it's looking awesome. We could even put some chickens in there and close it up and it's kind of like they're nesting in there. And that looks so good. Check that out. That is awesome. And then I added a couple storage bits up here with barrels, chest, a little bit of detail right there. And you know what? Let me put, um, give me a flower. I want a flower. Let's put a flower in there. I feel bad. I didn't put a flower up there. There you go. Enjoy chickens. Have a good time. Oh, look at him flip. <laughs> nice. So there you go. We got the little part all set up. Also, I added this little bit here to the front. Gave it like a little door. I forgot to put a little door here. So super simple. It's a little upside down stair here, upside down stair here, trap door here, two trap doors on this side, two on this side, and then I faced two more on that side so it looks like there's one two three and this kind of swings in closes swings that way closes also back here i closed this part so these two are closed in then we have the little trap doors on this side and add a little bit of detail here no big deal a little barrel there with a lantern some more storage a little cauldron uh so just some little bits around here oh let's put one back here this looks a little dark right here i don't want anything to spawn there we go we're in creative, it's not good, it's fun. <laughs> and then over here, uh, we have our little entrance here for all our sheep, looking really, really cool. Make sure all this is grass though. Uh, over here we have our cows hanging out, and then also I replaced the little trap door there with our uh, lights right there. Uh, some leads here in case you gotta lead them out somewhere. Uh, and that is all there is to it. Let's take one little spin, this is looking so good. Let's take a look from far back, and yes, <laughs> look at that, it's matching perfect, and I'm in love. Adding a little bit, uh, a splash of that oak just really pops it even even more so we're going to implement that in some other builds coming up but what do you think is this cool <laughs> it's coming out really really awesome we still have all the space to work with we still have some more builds to do let me know what you guys want to see next and i am down to build we're going to come back very very soon with another episode so stay tuned for that and i'll be back also with our single player survival we started recently so check that out i'm gonna put a link in the description i've been having so much fun doing some asian inspired builds also let me know if there's any other build style you want to see a tutorial on i might be doing some asian ones coming up soon to match what we've been doing in our single player world but i'm out <laughs> thank you so much for watching catch you guys on the next minecraft video take that